Hi, it's the summer holidays at the moment, so Exhibition Chemistry is filming on location in Bristol. And uh, I've noticed that there's a heterogeneous catalysis demonstration doing the rounds at the moment, and it involves copper rather than the traditional demonstration involving platinum, which should be a lot easier to get hold of. Now, I've got a piece of copper foil here, which I've just cut into shape so that it can be slid into a conical flask, and there's a little bend in the end so that it can hang over a glass rod. And I've set it up so that it's suspended uh, about a centimetre or two above the level of some acetone in here. There's about 30 centimetre cubed or so. And all you need to do is to begin heating up the bottom of the copper until it's red hot. Now, the trick to getting this demo to succeed getting yourself a piece of copper that's got enough uh, thickness to it that it's going to be able to retain heat long enough inside the flask. So I'm making sure this is nice and red hot. Thinner sheets of copper that you might use for uh, electrolysis in school lose their heat quite quickly and so the demonstration doesn't last very long. Okay, we'll give this a try. Now you can notice that as I've put it in here, you see a uh, rapidly changing colours on the surface of the copper here. <clears throat> What's happening here is that the copper is catalyzing the oxidation of acetone. The acetone first decomposes to ketene and CH4, and then they react with oxygen, giving off CO2 and water. The copper's glowing red hot in here, which you'll be able to see clearly in a few moments. This causes one of the primary safety issues here. The side of the flask is going to get extremely hot, so don't try and pick it up whilst the demonstration is still carrying on. Just simply remove the glass rod and the copper from the flask. I'm using an improvised heat mat here, uh, and you may wish to have a secondary heat mat uh, just to put over the top or a damp cloth in case the acetone vapors ignite. This is extremely low risk of this happening though. Now this demonstration works very well with copper coins as well. Just uh, wrap up your coin in a little piece of nichrome wire and then wrap the wire around a glass rod. Heat it up like before. And then when it's red hot, simply pop it inside. Now to see this trick at its best, you really want to be able to turn off the lights, which we can't obviously do here. So I've also repeated this trick back home for you. In a darkened room, the effect can be particularly striking. By raising and lowering the coin in the flask, you can adjust the proportion of acetone and oxygen to find the place at which the coin is brightest.